Hey guys, it's Jack here from My Collect Apple, and today, as promised, I'm unboxing the iPhone 7 Plus. Here we have in the UPS box a jet black 128GB model. I pre-ordered this on September the 9th and it's still taken until the 3rd of October to arrive, so I'm super excited to get into this. This is going to be my primary phone, I'm upgrading from a 6 Plus, so uh, yeah, I'm really excited. So without further ado, I'm going to get straight on into it. This is a full-on unboxing because I haven't even taken it out of the UPS delivery box. This is brand new, just arrived today. Get into it. And there it is, the black iPhone box. The jet black model has a black box, a bit like the slate iPhone 5 had, and the iPhones before the iPhone 4. Uh, whereas all the other 7 Plus models have a white box and then color match device on the front. This year, as you've probably seen, they're showing the back of the device on the front. Which is a nice change, seeing as a, a big selling point of each iPhone is the finish. So it's quite nice to see the finish rather than the white or the black standard front that we all know. So, uh, yeah, I think the easiest way to get into this may be to... Oh, no, is it to cut this? We shall see. Yeah, that's tearing. Sweet. There's probably a much easier way of doing this, to be honest. There we go, it's out. <laughs> okay, so bring the camera in a bit for this part so you can see a bit more clearly. Here's the box, I'm gonna take the plastic wrapping off and uh, then we'll do a quick overview of the box. So, they made it easy now. We have the pull tab, so I don't have to struggle cutting into it. It's just that simple. And there you go, plastic is off. Okay, so let's have a look at the box. As you can see on the front, as I previously mentioned, is the back of the iPhone. On each side we just have the iPhone, like they did with the 6 until they released success, and then they went back and changed the box for the 6, to say iPhone 6. And uh, Apple logo at each end, and as you can see on the back, it says it's 128 gigabytes, includes iPhone 7 Plus, AirPods with lightning connector, lightning to headphone jack adapter, like this USB cable and the power adapter, of course. General stuff that we've come to expect from an iPhone. So now for the super fun part, we're gonna get into the box itself and have a look at the iPhone. Now, the packaging layout this time is a little bit different. Unlike the first nine generations of iPhone, the first thing you're presented with is not the iPhone itself, it's the product information. So we will take that out and then I will be able to see my new iPhone. So, wow. There it is. I'll set that, ex that uh, pack oh, sorry, product information aside. And now I will have a look at the iPhone. So this thing scratches just by looking at it. So I'm not going to take the plastic film off now. But there it is. We'll come to that in a minute. So I'm just going to set that down here. Like so. Also in the box we have our mains adapter. This is a UK one, obviously. Still not the folding pins, one of the Apple Watch over here in the UK, which is surprising. We have our ear pods, which are no longer in their carry case, they're just in a plastic, uh, sorry, a cardboard sort of, another piece of packaging, really. Uh, same sort of thing they've been in with every iPod since they were introduced in 2012. Of course, these are our lightning ear pods. And on the back, we have our headphone jack to lightning adapter. So in there somewhere, will be the lightning connector for these. And obviously also we have a lightning to USB sync cable or charge cable these days. No one really syncs anymore, but that's what it used to be known as. So I will take that away and have a look over here in our product information we had a second ago. So of course we have designed by Apple in California. Nothing on the back, so this just slides out. This quick start guide is a little bit different this year as well. It says welcome to iPhone, it tells you how to turn it on, it highlights 3D touch so new users should be able to find it now and it also highlights that uh, the home button is available for touch ID and you can unlock it so people won't be putting in their passcodes when they have a fingerprint iPhone. And oh, the stuff on the back, we have the other buttons highlighted 
So it tells you what every button does basically. It tells you about the tips app, so that's a substitute for a full on quick start guide like they used to include. It's all on the phone since so iOS 8. And it also tells you how to charge it, which is pretty obvious. And this is where our SimEject tool is these days. It's moved from the sort of envelope itself to a card in here, tells you how to eject the SIM. It's all there. Then we have our warranty information. And finally, of course, our Apple stickers, which are now on a translucent backing rather than a white colored one. So now, let's look at the phone. Okay, so I'm super OCD about my devices and this thing is probably the biggest scratch magnet Apple has ever made. Like I said before, it can scratch just from using it. So there's a bit of paper on the table to stop any dust rubbing against it. It's going to scratch, but I'm putting it in a case this year. I didn't have my six in a case. I smashed a screen once. Still didn't have a case. Got it repaired and all that. But this year I'm putting it in a case just so I don't ruin that beautiful jet black finish. But this is the phone, and it's honestly the nicest iPhone I've ever seen. I must say, at this point, I'm also a massive fan of the matte black option available this year. It looks stunning. In some lights, it looks be way better than the jet black. But overall, as a single piece of hardware where the screen is one with the back, this jet black is just to die for, in my opinion. So we obviously have a black front, like previous black models, and then round the edges, it's all gloss black. Double camera, four LEDs, obviously, no headphone jack. So here we go, I'm gonna take off the wrapping. Oh, scary, scary, scary. There we go. There is my jet black iPhone. Yep, that's nice. So, I guess now, I have to turn it on. Here we go. And it's booting up. So, quick overview of this phone. We have two 12 megapixel cameras on the back. One's a normal lens, one's a telephoto lens. As Apple brands it for two times optical zoom and up to 10 with software's digital zoom. Later on in iOS 10.1, the base is available now. You'll be able to do a portrait mode which is a sort of fake depth effects like you would get with a DSLR. Uh, also, the home button is force touch now, so it doesn't actually move. It uses the new Tactic engine, which was previously available in the 6S, but it's been much improved this year to feel like it's moving, whereas it doesn't. Obviously, we have stereo speakers now. The earpiece has been up, so that's why it's much bigger to act as a second speaker, a front-facing speaker. And these ones are normal. There's no speaker where the headphone jack was. There are just holes there to make it look balanced on either side. Uh, the front face cameras had another upgrade this year, it's stuck on 1.2 for ages and then went to 5 megapixels with the sick pairs now all the way up to 7 megapixels, so they're really playing catch up here. We have an A10 Fusion chip, so that is 4 cores, 2 high power cores, 2 efficiency cores, so it should bring better battery life but we shall see. Also, the six, sorry, the seven has two gig of RAM, like the six S, and the seven plus has three gig of RAM. And uh, also, there is water resistance and dust resistance. So if you submerge your phone, you should be good, but you probably shouldn't be swimming under water with it and taking pictures. So that is it, guys. Um, I'm going to go set up my new phone. And uh, thanks for watching. I'm really excited right now, I really just want to go play with it. So yeah, I hope this has covered everything I wanted to cover. Uh, there'll be more videos coming soon, more iPhone unboxings. Like I said, I'm going to do a 3GS next. I know if you're just watching the 7 video and you don't know my channel, it's going to be weird why I'm doing a 3GS. Watch my iPhone 3G review unboxing and that will explain. But yeah, this is the iPhone 7 Plus in jet black. Just arrived today in the UK. Stunning. Oh, and there's a race to wake because <laughs> it's of course got the A10 and the M10 motion co-processor so yeah I'm getting a big upgrade over my 6 of course I get 3D touch now which I didn't have before so this is this is going to be fun alright guys thanks for watching I'll see you again soon bye for now